capture a healthy coral reef and the azure blue waters of some faraway tropical ocean might spring to mind, a lab in Derby might not. But it is there at the university that scientists are working on preventing the bleaching of coral and growing new ones to replace those damaged by pollution and warming seas. Coral reefs cover just 0.1% of the ocean floor but harbour 30% of all marine life. These fragile ecosystems are sensitive. Last year's record-breaking marine heat waves have seen widespread bleaching. Now, their salvation could be reliant on work done here, in landlocked Derby University. So corals spawn at night, and that is exactly what we recreate in these systems. Michael and his team were the first in the world to successfully spawn coral at scale in a lab. Now it's a race against time to apply their research to the real world. It's a massive challenge that we face um, to, to save an entire ecosystem. They sometimes call it rainforests of the sea. How long have they got left? Uh, some argue that it's as little as six years. So by 2030, 90% of reefs will be functionally extinct. Well, it's a worry, isn't it? It's definitely alarming. It gives us a timeline to, to work towards. These corals can be transferred to the coast, but would just be a drop in the ocean. The real win would be to develop species resistant to the rising heat and acidity of the seas. Selective breeding takes time, so they're also using probiotics. Think a yakult for the coral. So what we're trying to do is use probiotics, in this case bacteria, to help the baby corals to become healthy and more resistant adults and we hope the bacteria might help them be healthier and get to the mature age as well. And survive warming oceans. Exactly. It appears to be working. Tests have boosted survival rates by 1200%. Now they're looking for other wins. 90% of plants have a symbiotic relationship with fungi, so it's referred to as the wood wide web where they connect with each other. Um, so we're trying to see maybe with all those benefits that we see with plants, maybe there might be something with uh, the fungi associated with coral. Their kit and know-how has already been exported to 15 countries. These tanks landed in the Maldives today. They can't solve the problem alone, but aim to keep species and hope alive. Martin Stew, News at 10, Derby.